is Ryan Kemp, and I'm a senior from Richfield, New Jersey, majoring in Urban Studies and Anthropology at St. Peter's University, and I'm really excited to introduce you to some wonderful students. Gabby, why don't you start us off? Okay, hi everyone, my name is Gabrielle Bishop. I'm a junior, I'm a double major in Economics and Finance. Um, I will be doing the Master's in Finance Accelerator Program, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, hey guys, my name is George Rusas. I'm a junior here at St. Peter's from Jersey City originally. I'm a double major just like Gabby from Economics and Finance. I'm enrolled in the Master in Finance five year program. And yeah. <laughs> Hi all, um, my name is Danielle Powder. I'm a biochemistry and chemistry major here, double major thing. Um, <laughs> and I am a junior here on campus, and I'm a commuter. Hi everyone, my name is Madal Laquito. I'm from Edison, New Jersey, and I major in mathematics. My minor is in computer science. And after graduation, I'll be working in investment banking, and I also want to pursue a master's in financial engineering. Hi, everyone. I'm Samantha Sebu. I'm a junior here at St. Peter's University. I live in Hoboken, New Jersey. I'm a double major in mathematics and elementary education. And that's about it. Awesome. It's great to have all of you here. So first, why don't we get down straight to the basics. Why did you choose to come to St. Peter's University? So I chose to come to St. Peter's University because my cousins and my mom came here. So it's always like third, fourth generation that I'm in here. And I love it. I love being so close to home that I can just come back and forth as I please. Um, I also like the small class size. And I met with some of the teachers and the professors when I came here. And they were um, so I chose to go to St. Peter's because, well, you know, for me it was really affordable. Um, and also I came on a tour. I was like, you know why I was going for a tour. Um, and I just really like the vibes. Um, I just really felt like I could excel here and everything. And as an update, I feel that's exactly what I'm doing. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, I was a lot to here, actually. So it was kind of like a no choice. And my parents were like, it's St. Peter's. Like, your legacy, your best fit. So, yeah. And it was close to home. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So obviously we all come to St. Peter's as a student first. So does anybody have any interesting stories about academic excellence, maybe an internship, or a really good relationship they've had with a professor? I have a really quick story. So in regards to academic excellence, when I had came here during my freshman year, I had actually developed really close relationships with our career services. So before I knew it, during my freshman year, I was able to get an internship, and then even up until my senior year, they helped me get other internships and even getting a full-time job before graduation. So being with career services really helped me excel at St. Peter's University. That's amazing. Does anybody else have a similar story? Yeah. My advisor actually took me under his wing um, sophomore year. And so as of right now, I'm his research assistant for his um, pharmaceutical chem lab. And so we're doing a lot of cool things, a lot of new initiatives. I'm really excited about the results we're getting. Good. Awesome. Awesome. Sam, you're part of the honors program, right? I am a part of the honors program. How's that going? It's going great. I'm really excited to do my senior thesis. It's going to be exciting. I don't know what's going to be on yet. I've been debating. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if I should do it in the math, in like the math fields, or if I should like combine both with education. But excited. I spoke with um, Dr. Whitehall, so we'll see how it goes. Awesome. And me and Ryan actually just finished defending our thesis a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So if anyone ever needed any advice, we went through the whole process and it was so much fun. It was a year, a couple year process. Fun well, is a way to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so academics are great, but now let's get into campus life, right? Who lives on campus? Gabby, how is living on campus for you? Um, I really enjoy it. Uh, so for example, I usually have 9 a.m. I literally feel like 8.45. And I make it on time. <laughs> you know? still so, early. Though. Yeah, exactly. So I really do live on campus. Um, no complaints on my end. Really nice. It's really convenient. I mean, really. And what's the community atmosphere on campus like? I think it's really friendly. I think it's so easy to make friends here. And I feel like it's like really different because I think, it, oh, like high school would be easier. No, like college is so easy to make friends. <laughs> Like me and George, okay, so we met orientation day. We were literally like walking across the street, and George was like, Oh, like, who, like, what's your major? And I was like, Oh, like, I'm economics. He said, I'm economics. We're friends now. And like, that's, <laughs> the way, yeah. and that's the way how we became friends. And he, like, he's a commuter, but that's, that's just an example of how like, you can just easily make friends. Even the residence halls, like, it's that easy, too. So, yeah. Definitely. George, do you want to talk about the commuter experience then? Um, honestly, being like, I'm close to home, so it's not that bad. 
Journal Square is like so close to campus. We provide a shuttle, like school provides a shuttle back and forth, Journal Square. And even like after like class finish, I go to New York if I want to on my leisure. Mm -hmm. But being a commuter is like commute, like really, uh, really convenient. It's really good for me. Has any of the other commuters found it difficult to get involved on campus at all? Um, at first, I was a little apprehensive only because um, I was like, I'm on campus all day, I want to get home, I'm going to hit traffic, I don't want to be involved, that's too much work. And then my friends invited me to one of their meetings, their Hooks and Knicks club, and that happened during our common hours, so I was like, that's perfect, it eats way for me to get involved. And since then, I've been like, okay, what else, what other organizations are here on campus, I want to see what else the school has to offer. And since then, it's been like, amazing experience just seeing all the different people all the different groups and clubs that's here um hsa um asa um and just meeting meeting all these new people and seeing all that they have to offer it's just been a wonderful way to get involved but yeah it's been a interesting experience definitely yeah. worth it it's definitely worth it to get involved on campus definitely who else is involved on campus Everybody. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Does anybody have any other experience that they thought was really great? One thing I wanted to note too is that during my freshman year, being that I'm a math major, we actually didn't have a math club at the time. So me and a couple of other buddies, we got together and we actually started the math club during my freshman year. So if there wasn't an organization that was provided here on campus, you actually have the leisure to start it on your own. Just mm -hmm. get a group of people together with an advisor and St. Peter's really makes it happen for you. Definitely. Does anybody else have an experience like that? Or another experience in being involved. Okay, um, so I don't know why I can raise my hands. It's a teacher thing. Um, but every um, I started SGA this year. I'm also a part of C, which I never was in the beginning. So I'm kind of excited to see what that's going to look next year when I'm a part of um, C even more. But being a part of SGA now, like getting to hand the torch to Gabby, who's going to be a part of SGA next year too. You'll find the same way when we come in. Being like the first year of like sort of having everybody's eyes on you. Is very like it seems so like scary for me when I came in. I was like, oh, it's GA. Like, oh, I don't know anything about politics. This is <laughs> scary. And I was like, oh, I'm, like I'm very bubbly. I don't know how this is gonna work. And then I came in and I was like, oh, like the little uh, less confident Sam now is like really butterflied into like this person who like doesn't. I can talk to a wall. And I'm just like, so I feel more like I can like talk about anything. Um, I also enjoy sort of like the friendships you make yeah. when you become sort of a leader here. I feel like you grow like as a scholar, you grow as a leader, and you also grow like with a lot of your friends. Like me and Miguel, we work both at Case. I've known Gabby for O team. George, sometimes we see each other. I'm not in anything with you, but we see things, and I just met you. Yeah. <laughs> and like me and Ryan, we do SGA. So it's, it's good to see like people who are also striving for the same goal as you to be successful here. And I feel like you both lift each other up. So like SGA and all other clubs here really help out with that. Yeah. Definitely. And I know one of the biggest places for people to meet up and have fun is the cafeteria. Does anybody want to talk about the food situation or anything that they find really appealing about uh, just the students that are, I guess, in general? So whenever we talk about cafeteria, I really do have to say, Fresher 15 is real. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, I have, like, for the cafeteria-wise, there's always a different variety. Um, so, you know, for the students, I know the third floor is the healthy floor. So I try to stay up there for now because, you know, like I said, I learned the hard way freshman year. But I definitely get like more sandwiches and salads and stuff like that now. Um, but yeah. I have to say, Cafe Diem, I always go there. I know the girl Christina, we're friends now. She's, um, she's friend. love her. She, and she always knows my order. I feel so good when I go in there. And she's like, oh, strawberry smoothie. I'm like, oh, yes. I love, I love the strawberry smoothie. I'm not a coffee person, but mm -hmm. the coffee's great too. I, I always go there too. Cafe Diem, every single morning in the student center, I get my large ice blocks. <laughs> I, I can't get through the day. so. They have really good coffee spots, mm -hmm. not just there in the student center, but there's other places on campus you go pick up some coffee or some mm -hmm. tea. It's yeah. really great. I actually spend a lot of time at Pete's Place, and their garlic mats for lunch are delicious. I will attest to <laughs> <laughs> that. Those are my favorite by far. I like Sub Connection. Ever since we got that uh, sushi place, Yes. I get sushi yes. every day for lunch. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> I used all my lunch money yeah. <laughs> sushi this year. I feel and, that. And, yeah, <laughs> Um, so now kind of moving on to like a reflective experience, right? What did, would you say, we have juniors, we have seniors here, what would you say is the most memorable experience or experiences, if you're lucky to have more than one, that you think uh, really defines your experience at St. Peter's? Um, so last year with School of Business, I got to spend 10 days abroad in Japan, which was an international business course, which was a phenomenal experience. 
which I cherish personally. Mm -hmm. I look back to it, so that was my favorite one so far. I was I have two experiences. So my first one is last year, my sophomore year, I went on a trip with my friends. We went to do it here in public, and it was really awesome. Like it was really fun, and I think that kind of like fueled like my mind to like let's go, like let's travel. So I think that's really cool and important to me. Um, and my second experience this is gonna sound like really corny, but as a resident assistant, I feel like you know just helping my residents like just day like day to day kind of thing. Like I feel like things like really molded me mm -hmm. to like the person I've become. So, yeah. Oh, one of my most memorable experiences here was that during my sophomore year, I started doing research in computational neuroscience, and as a result, I was able to get uh, funding from the school, and that funding allowed me to go to different conferences across the country. So I went to Chicago, and I went to San Diego and California to share my research, and it was just such a great platform because even though we have a few math majors here, over there I got to meet and be surrounded by like thousands and hundreds of math majors and mm -hmm. share our experiences with like-minded people. So you also get to explore the city. So it's a fun trip to a different state and then you get to talk about some nice stuff that you have in common with other people. And St. Peter's really made it happen. I'm grateful. I would say like working here also is like a great experience. I feel like when I first came here, I was like, oh, I really want, I want to get involved. So I really either if it was in the classroom, helping out with gems, and like sort of teaching the um, new freshman class like their ways to St. Peter's, Learn, um, guiding them through their struggles and helping them with their successes. And I feel like that has molded me as well as made my experience a lot better than I thought it would. Another experience for me would be working with Campus Ministry. Mm -hmm. They have their America Reads program where you're allowed to go tutor young children and that touched me in a really big way because I love community service and I love giving back and that fueled the fire into getting me to get active on campus. Mm -hmm. So finding a way to that when we get back to people in our surrounding community, Jersey City community, but also on campus, what was the next step that I could do to bring it back home? Mm -hmm. Definitely. And I really like that you bring up campus ministry. Um, I definitely think that one of the biggest points for St. Peter's for me in deciding to come here was like the Jesuit mission mm -hmm. and the commitment to and dedication to service to others and making sure that everybody feels included and that this is that we all try to help each other become the best forms of ourselves so that we can be. Um, so I wanted to know also, what would you say is your favorite place on campus? That's a tough question. <laughs> For me, ever since I started working in the alumni engagement department, that's probably it. Like, that's my go-to place. I have, like, my own little cubicle there. I have, like, my <laughs> supervisor and, like, my assistant. Like, and we can talk. We can relax. I'm like, so this is my issue for today. Like, I'm stressing over this. I have homework. But it's, like, I feel like I can be myself there. So that's what I love about it. I'd say my favorite place on campus is the library. That's probably <laughs> a really nerdy answer, but ever since I was a freshman, I was always in the library, initially just there to study. But actually, throughout the four years, I made the closest friends of my life. And the library, they not only worked there, but they would also be there studying with me late into the night. So unexpectedly, I met my best friends over there. So that's my favorite place. Um, basic resident answer <laughs> in my room. <laughs> This is because like, you know after I go through classes up there, like I have my work study, and I'm just like I just can't wait to go in my room and lay in my bed. <laughs> and you know of course like we have our desks and everything, so I'll just like do my work there. And it's just really comfortable for me. I think I really made it, like my space. So my favorite space on campus is definitely my room. I have to say my favorite place <laughs> on campus has to be um, Student Center. I like kind of going the fifth floor as well as the fourth floor. I have a lot of friends in the game room. So I like sort of going there and I get to like see like actual like radio going on, which is awesome too. So that would be like my favorite little getaway. And then my favorite spot would have to be Gannon our science lab. I'm a biochem major, why not, right? <laughs> um, but no, even there I've built like my own second family there with all the people that work in the lab and it's just been a, a, a getaway actually. So not only am I there for classes, but afterwards doing my own research and building that second family there as well. I would definitely have to agree with Sam. 
Uh, all the places you mentioned are amazing. Uh, I also enjoy going to take naps in my room, too. Um, but I love being in the student center. And as the student government president, I, I enjoy being able to be a resource to all the students that are available. And I feel like the fifth floor with the open forum that we have and the offices that just allow anybody to come in and kind of talk to us really allows for that sort of connection between students and student leaders that are trying to advocate on behalf of the needs of everybody. Um, so, moving on, what would be a piece of advice that you would want to give to incoming you? I guess I'll split this one off. Be open-minded. Don't be shy. Don't be scared to try something new. Be open-minded to all the possibilities and all the experiences St. Peter's has to offer because it's not going to do anything but grow. It'll help you grow mentally, help you grow educationally, academically, but also into the next version of yourself. Um, something I would want to say, well, luckily I think I already did it, but um, just get involved, like be super involved, um, because it's a really chance to just like put yourself out there, and you know, it's like, um, you just have like, experience and everything, and so it's like, you have all these chances to grow and see what you can actually do. Um, I think my freshman year, I was so involved with them, I was ju like a junior, and I was like, I'm a freshman. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, picking up to what they said, it's like being involved, but like, get to know your professor. Like, mm -hmm. We offer such close-knit communities in the classrooms where the professor knows you and like, you know the professor. So like, just build a relationship with them, and that's what I've done, and they help me out, like, they help me grow. So that's what I like about it. I would advise incoming freshmen to always make the most of your education as to constantly expand your skill sets. While you're here, really don't let the opportunities pass you by because during your time here, there's so many opportunities that pop up, not just academic, but professional too, or things that are going to help you grow. And the only thing separating you from becoming the person that you want to be is that initiative. So you have to chase those opportunities and take the initiative to make the most of your experience while you're here. I think they summed it up all quite nicely. <laughs> um, but just to reiterate, I would say um, also become a student leader as well as grow professionally. We have so many resources here that I feel like a lot of students don't know about, even though we are a small school. And I feel like we should take more advantage of that. So when they, as soon as you come in, do what Medell did, go right away, go to career services, or go straight to um, the Leo office and become that student leader, it's going to make you grow and make you legitimately the better overall person. Definitely, you all said that you all said it all so well, um, and I would echo everything you say. And I would also want to add just to not only get involved on St. Peter's campus, but also in the whole town of Jersey City and in the greater Manhattan area, where there's so many opportunities for internships or just getting involved in community organizations that are here that are helping people and helping us too. I think you guys were all really great. Thank you so much for sharing with all of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.